Windows blue screen errors can occur in both hardware and software problems. If you are getting IRQL not less or equal BSOD, this video explains what this error means, the common reason behind IRQL not less or equal and how to troubleshoot this. The IRQL in the error stands for interruption request line, which is a mechanism Windows uses to signal events requiring urgent attention. The not less or equal part of the message indicates that the driver attempted to access an address outside the set boundary for memory allocations. There are several potential reasons for this error. Corrupted system files, incompatible or outdated device drivers, problems with memory modules, software conflicts or faulty or incompatible hardware are common. Whatever the reason, here is how to troubleshoot the blue screen error on Windows PC. Sometimes, incompatible or malfunctioning external hardware can trigger the error. Whenever you experience a blue screen error, the first step is to disconnect any external devices such as USB drives, printers, or external hard drives, and then restart your PC. This helps identify any conflicts that may be caused by these devices. If your system restarts frequently or if it doesn't start normally, booting into safe mode can be helpful. Hence your PC won't start normally you need to boot from installation media. Well if your computer starts normally and sometimes only triggers this blue screen you can skip safe mode and move to the next troubleshooting step to fix the error. When your device boot from installation media click next, then repair your computer. Go to troubleshoot then advance options. Here click on startup settings then restart. And finally, press F4 to start Windows in safe mode. Safe mode loads only essential drivers and services, which can help troubleshoot the error without interference from third-party software or drivers that may be causing the problem. Again memory errors are a common reason behind this blue screen error. Faulty RAM can lead to data corruption and system instability. To diagnose and fix memory-related issues, you can use the built-in Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. Open Memory Diagnostic Tool and select the first option Restart Now and check for problems. This tool scans your computer's memory for errors and provides recommendations for fixing them. Also identifying and replacing faulty RAM helps prevent memory-related errors and enhances system stability. Device drivers act as intermediaries between your hardware and the operating system. Outdated or incompatible drivers can lead to conflicts, which in turn can trigger BSOD errors. It's essential to keep your drivers up to date, especially for critical components like graphics cards, network cards, and chipsets. You can update your drivers manually through the device manager or use third-party software to automate the process. System files are important for the proper function of your computer. If for some reason important system files get corrupted or missing this can trigger different problems including the blue screen error. You can run system file checker utility to scan and repair system files on your computer. To run the SFC tool, open command prompt as an administrator and type SFC slash scan now, then press enter. This is a built-in Windows utility that scans for and repairs corrupted system files. Allow the tool to complete the scan. In addition, run DISM Restore Health command to perform advanced scan and restore your Windows image health. 
Once done restart your computer and check if this helped fix the BSOD error. Keeping your Windows operating system up to date is crucial for system security and stability. Microsoft regularly releases updates to address known issues and vulnerabilities. Installing the latest Windows updates can help resolve compatibility issues and improve system performance. You can check for updates through the Windows Update settings or by visiting the Microsoft Update Catalog website. In addition, check for optional updates that bring fixes and driver updates that help fix different problems on your computer. Disk drive error or bad sectors in the hard disk is another reason why Windows 11 freezes and crashes with IRQL not less or equal error. If nothing helps, you can check your hard drive for errors using chkdsk tool. Open the command prompt as administrator, run the command chkdsk c column slash f slash r and press enter key to scan the disk drive for errors and repair them. Type Y and press Enter key to schedule scan and repair disk drive errors on the next start and reboot your device. This will initiate a disk check that scans the file system for errors and automatically attempts to fix any issues found. This includes repairing corrupted files, recovering readable information from bad sectors, and ensuring the overall integrity of the disk. Resolving disk errors can help restore proper functionality to the system, and prevent future crashes and freezes. Malware infections can also contribute to the occurrence of the error in Windows 11. Malicious software, such as viruses, worms, or spyware, can interfere with system processes, manipulate device drivers, and cause conflicts that result in blue screen errors and system crashes. Performing a thorough malware scan using Windows Security, Windows Defender, or a trusted third-party antivirus solution is essential for detecting and removing any malicious programs that may be present on the system. By scanning for malware, you can identify and eliminate harmful software components that may be causing or exacerbating the error. If the error started occurring after a recent change or update, you can use System Restore to revert your system to a previous stable state. System Restore allows you to roll back system changes without affecting your personal files. I hope these tips help fix IRQL not less or equal blue screen error. Don't forget to share your feedback on the comments below. Thanks for watching.